models. It's back. It's the room, another one. Don't expect any story closure in this game. There's all, I know there's a sequel. So, <laughs> we've started with a story already happening and we'll end before that story finishes. But we know that going into it, which is always good. So, yes. Sorry about my uh, absence from videos recently. The, uh, it's been a rather busy period, specifically, uh, specifically at work, in which I'm currently working like six days a week. And the one day I had off last week, I had other things to do. So, as I said, I've just been a little short on time. But that's nothing for you guys to worry about. New game! Lodding. So, yes. This, this loading is taking longer than I would have expected. Do the th there we go. Right. So, if you remember from the previous game, Uncle A, who... Oh, I'm going to have to do that voice again. I, can't, I didn't look up how his voice sounded. Okay, so his voice sounds a bit different. I apologise. Um, but yes, Uncle A, S, I think his initials were, trapped us in the Never Never for some reason. Just, I think he wants us to come find him. It's It wasn't particularly clear. Tutorial. Click to begin. I can drag my house to look around. So same as the last time. Okay. We Double click on the note to focus. I can drag to open the note. Yeah, it's all basically the same. Click to continue. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now, you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room because reasons and trust in your wits to uncover it. Well, I got through the previous game, so finding the starting item should be difficult. I am not the only ghost in this place, ass. So is he saying he's dead or is he being metaphorical? Whatever, who cares? The lenses are... Oh, that's right, yeah, it exploded at the end in the previous game because... Well, because reasons. Okay. So you have concealed it somewhere in this... Is it over here? Is it over in the box of mysteries? Double click on the round box. Okay, this is... Right. Oh, oh okay, so it hooks over there. Okay. Push the button to open the box. Some of these things are just fiddly. Why are you confused that there's a puzzle here? Every aspect of your journey thus far has been a puzzle for no obvious reason. Looks like some objects can be moved. Really? Which pieces? Okay. Oh, this is your idea of a puzzle, is it? Rotate. Slide. Three pieces, three holes. I know you've got to start easy, but come on. Assume the person who's played this has played the previous game. I know you don't have to go quite to the same absurd level as the end of that one, but... The lens looks like it would fit the eyepiece. Oh look, so it does. Click to where the... Okie dokie. Oh look, everything's got a mild red tint. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. I mean... Ser seriously, did they not think people would have played... The room won before playing this? I mean, there's, there's nothing new here. Pick up the piece. Let's try to find where this piece is used. Oh, I wonder if it could be in the place we saw over here with holes in the table. There you go. Now we need to find another one. Yeah, I can see we need another one. Come on, back up, back up, back up. There you go. Now, let's actually have a look at these things. Do, 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 do. North, east, west, south. Uh, we can rotate this. Oh, it said something. Looks like a piece of. Mi I can see a piece is missing. I just want to see what happened. That's yeah, no. Right, okay, so this is basically a dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to tell me every single time. Right, so in other words, the other clue's over here somewhere. Oh, a letter I didn't see. Well, <laughs> there's the missing piece. I thought that would be slightly better hidden than 
stuck under a table with blue tech. Um, okay, I don't know. Hmm. There's no uh, name at the end, so I don't know if this is AS. As such, I will not read it out in AS's voice. Let's just see what. Uh, 23rd of October, 1883. Mr. Rigby. Suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of making a grave robber into my. Let me just start that again. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montfalcon, though that's really okay, that's that's a name apparently. It's fond of saying, "Needs must as the devil drives." It falls to me then to brief you in your ungodly task. As you should well be aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power, but not great responsibility, and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. Ooh, I like that way I said that. Yes, I'm going to give this voice, this voice printed letters. I'm going to give that sort of a sort of sneering tone. To it. I like the feel of that. Yes, AS gets the quite insane voice of the person who doesn't really understand what he's doing, but thinks he does, and gets it right anyway somehow. And that person, that person's going to get the sneering tone of someone who believes himself to be right and isn't. Cool. So what have we got hourglass, backwards Z. Alien Invader. Right. What's the box? Box. Missing a piece. Let me guess. If I click here, it's going to say missing a piece. Yeah. Funny that. Right. Well, we got the other random piece of random. Thing. Doodad. Levers. And we have... Okay. I can turn it. Is there a purpose to be turning it? Oh, okay. I just find the bigger hole and take the golden snitch. It looks like it belongs somewhere. That is a stupid sentence. Of co it's a every puzzle piece belongs somewhere. You don't need to tell me it belongs somewhere. Tell me that I don't know. It's got a weird inscription saying "Don't trust the French" or something. Give me an indication of what the puzzle's for. That is an eye. That is straight up an eye. Okay. Oh. oh okay. Essen. I did write a word. Perhaps the code is hidden in the room. So, but yeah, of course the code is hidden in the room somewhere. I was figuring out how the blooming thing worked. Oh, there it is. So it's not even hidden in the room somewhere. It's hidden on the table somewhere. Okay. Right. Oh, I can't actually see it if I want. South, east, south, west, north. Cool. South, east, south, west, north. Uh, oh, medallion. I was about to ask what it was. I should... Okay, so it's part of the tutorial of look at the thing. A medallion with arrows on it. Oh. Okay. Now it's a square. And I want to look for something square. Okay. What's on the back? Now of interest. Right. Moving on. Zoom out. Jesus wept. This thing is slightly unresponsive sometimes. It's weird. Square piece, square hole. Do the thing. That does not look like it should fit in that box. Just generally looks bigger than the box it was in. Okay. What am I. What's it doing? Not a lot. Oh, can I not? Okay, so I can only see that with the. Zoom out and look over there. Okay. 
Oh, can I move this? Okay, so still can't see that without this on. Z. Oh god, I've angered it. I've angered the Z. Is it the hole? Did I come in through that? I have no idea. This could make for an interesting horror segment, though I doubt this game has anything like that in it. Oh look, it's an hourglass. Oh god, I've angered the hourglass! What a great arbitrary direction to start looking in. Oh look, and there's a space invader, but I want to look around the rest of the room. I want to see it here. The answer is sod buggering all. Right, okay. Well, it's more like a headless man this way round, or a spider with half his legs missing, but... Oh! It's a weeping angel! It's one that's blind, apparently. Okay. Puzzles. Hey! Someone stole the D20! Okay. Uh, right, so twist until it looks like a symbol. Oh. Ah! I've angered it! Please stop being angry with me, game. I just want to complete you as you intended. Okay, we're going through the looking glass, apparently. Chapter complete. Okay, I guess I completed the tutorial. Grave robber? I didn't see a grave. Alright, so that I was just called the crypt. Okay. You have done well to emerge from the crypt, sound of both mind and spirit, though I fear this is only the beginning for trials. There was nothing challenging about the my to my mind or my spirit in that empty room of empty. It was a bit dark at times, but oh well. I just want you to know, listeners, viewers, whatever you want to call yourself. Hey, hi, it's the Obra Den. What are you doing here? Are you full of dead people? Um, yes, yeah, so I was going to say, I, I just want uh, my viewers and listeners to be aware of how much restraint it's taking on my part to not start yelling about uh, current events at the moment. Everything that Brexit is doing at the moment makes me want to kill things. So, what, did, what is that? Why can't I zoom in on it? I may need to make the room lighter or something before he'll walk over there. I don't want to trip over a cannonball. So, instead of going into a deep debate about all the things Brexit, let's just cover it in general. Boris Johnson shouldn't be Prime Minister. Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party have their entire policy ass backwards. Brexit's a bad idea. We shouldn't be doing it. A no-deal Brexit is even worse, so God only knows why we're trying to do that now. What the hell has this country come to? Hey, a note! What saith thee? Oh, I thought something caught fire in the background. It wasn't, it was just a surge of the water out there. So I'm going to assume that this is AS, because... Handwritten? There are some very weird sound effects going on in this room. Whatever. I'm going to read it as AS, because what the hell. There's still no sign, and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the foremast myself. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense, I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest. Let alone the Helena. Helena? Okay. Regardless, I have had the gun deck run out of the cannons in readiness. It is good to keep the men sharp. Now, I don't think this is AS. A, AS would have signed it. And B, I'd have taken AS more for a sort of alchemical scientist rather than a uh, shipman. Of any sort. He's certainly not a captain. And since he's referring to getting giving out orders, this is certainly written by someone who is higher up on the chain of command. And has had a bit of a nosebleed while uh, going on. Really, re relatively. Let me try that word again. Relatively recently, because as you can see, this is blood. It's still quite red, and uh, as blood dries, it goes from red to brown, and then brown to black. So it's sort of going browny red now. So it's it's drying out a bit, but it's not been there long enough to go completely brown. So someone around here has got a paper cut. Okay, so it says four mass crow's neck and cannons. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can zoom in. 
Okay, how do I... How do I cannon? Present arms! No? Okay, guess I'll do that later. So... Well, the crow's nest is up here. There it is, this is the crow's nest. Oh, okay. I can do a little twisty twizzle. Not that I see a purpose... Aha! A rope! Two ropes! And a key! I found a small gold key. Neat. I don't think this hourglass of things was necessary. Oh, but if you look at the, the sail here, that is mysterious colours that correspond to when it wanted me to look at this in previous, the other game, so. Right, so the gun deck, how do I, how do I get into the gun deck? Oh, I can move the cannons. Right. Present arms. Cannons. All the cannons out. Oh, there goes the key slot hole. I am really struggling with words today. It is indeed a small gold key. Let's ram it up in the ship. Oh, I broke it. There you go. Hey, Link's been here. Well, that did something. Hey, a treasure chest. Yeah, don't, don't move away from the treasure chest. Oh, it's opened up a real treasure chest. Hey, look. It's the book from the Curse of the Oberdin. Oh, Curse of the Oberdin? What was it? Return. Return of the Oberdin. So if I read through this, it'll tell me when everyone died and how. Right, so this is a... I should put on a sailor's voice, though, shouldn't I? It's been 30 weeks at sea, and the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors, investors will not be happy without a return of the Obertin. According to the prisoners we took off, the San Espirito, we should find the St. Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. They were simple swabs, ignorant of all save the workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I gave them a place among my crew. That's the entirety of the diary entry, is it? You wrote one page and gave up the whole thing for a bad job. Hey, look, more Triforces. Okay, how do I... Is that... Yeah, I've made the shape now. Obviously, I'll ram something up in it later, but... Or is it supposed to be this shape? This sh Ah, yeah, it's going to be that one. Okay, I guess I have to find a key for that. But, okay. Can I... I can't look inside it. Can I... Okay. Zoom up and in. Take a strange cylinder. Which will obviously be a key, but... Oh. It is indeed a strange cylinder. Ah, it's a coat hanger. I see. And the controls for this are a wee bit on the finicky side, aren't they? Right, okay, let's just zoom out. But the strange cylinder presumably goes in here? No, right. So let's go, go somewhere else. Well, I really wish I could change the brightness settings on this. Right, okay, maybe this is just telling me the position this one needs to be in. Okay, so lower left of the Triforce, right. Does that correspond to this? Yeah, I've already got it in place. I've got the pieces in place. You don't need to tell me that. That's a simple look at it and it's doing the right thing job. Right, open the door of secrets, please. There we go. Weird key. Oh, hang on. I am uh, I'm being yelled. Bear with me. Right, yes, back. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Top left of the sign is the bottom one. You've had plenty of time to look at that, presumably. So, but again, you don't really need to give that as a, as a descriptor. We already. Oh, maybe I haven't figured that out. Hang on, is there... so our top left is right. So I... That one, yeah. 
I honestly can't remember if that's what I had in the first place. I hadn't noticed these um, triangles here. So I had to try and make that symbol match up the, the one that was in there. I'll just double check I've got the other one from here. Okay. I have indeed got that one right. Okay, so i still missing a... Oh, I have a key now. But that key doesn't look like it fits in that slot. Let's return back to the Oprah Day and see what we find over here. Oh, a letter. Which I didn't get to see because it took me away from it as soon as I opened it. Oh, we're back with AS. Great. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon of a full sail? Oh, sorry. Why not the quarters of a galleon in full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following in my path or forging one anew? What sights you must have witnessed if my own experience is any guide. I keep leaving notes, and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthly tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. Are there any limes around here? I don't want to get scurvy. Scurvy is a bad time. I maybe I should put this thing on. Nope, that didn't help. I can't see anywhere else that's let me zoom into Ram Keys up in it. There's that final piece of the. Uh... Oh, okay, there's the uh, strange shaped key, which I didn't get a chance to get because it wicked me off the other side of the room as soon as it opened. It's not giving me a chance to look at what I've done first. So I think this wants me to have. Actually, I think I was right the first time. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, I think I was right. Now, again, these things are completely superfluous because you can just look at the shape in the middle and get the design the right size. Right, turny, turny key. Okay, and well, we've got another thing. Molecule of Madness, assist. Okay, <laughs> I don't really know how that works, but whatever. Oracle of Madness, show me the things of viewings. Um, oh, okay, like that. Okay. What am I achieving by doing this? Slide. Oracle of Madness. That wasn't sentence. Whatever. So spin it round. And those two go in. Some of these, uh... Some of these puzzles are a little bit asininely simple. Take a thing, turn a thing. Just push a thing to the... yeah, these aren't complicated. Well, that's where the, the weird thing of weirdness goes. I know we're at the early levels, but come on, just slide the thing from one position to the only other place it can go. It's hardly complicated. It didn't take long for us to track her down. So creaking in the back of the <laughs> ambient noise again. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. Okay. I'm going to get the numbers on there. So, north 2, west 2, south 3, wait. So, this is the thing I need to do. North 2, west 2, south 3, go. Okay, now what? Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the Cape took us four mile west, and we sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing as in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we would easily overhaul her. If only this accursed fog should lift. 
What's this thing? Is that a... Is this another puzzle? Oh, okay. I can get behind this. Right, you do. Okay, so there you go. These ways. That goes up. That goes down. I have a keyhole. I have a key. All right, so now, okay, so that then opens up the. Uh, me. So when it's a passage through the Cape took us four miles west. One, two, three, four. Seeing as in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. So we followed her, presumably. So she... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I missed the four miles north. Damn it! So. Four to the west. Up you go four. West you go two into the fog bank. There you go. I do think it's good that it doesn't let you make mistakes. So it always doesn't punish you too badly for making them. So it, could, it would have been quite possible for me to have gone to completely the wrong place and it to just have done nothing and given me no indication that I'd gone wrong. So I suppose it's quite um, forgiving in that sense. That as soon as I tried to go the wrong way, it went, nope, wrong. So if anyone didn't understand the puzzle, in theory, they could brute force it and just keep going until they got the right place. Might take them a while, but theoretically possible. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon. And there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles back towards the Cape. Now she not lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. Trying Captain Barbosa here, I think. <laughs> right, so. Let's say this. The fog lifted before noon, and she was six miles to the south. One. Two. Do the thing. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? Why can't I? Why can't, why can't I? Why can't I puzzle? Let me puzzle. Why don't I just press the button again? Do the thing. Was this puzzle complete? I didn't get anything from this. It just gave me directions. But I can't move the piece. I can't move the piece. I don't have anything. Oh, that's why. I needed to use the Monocle of Madness. Right? Oh, I see. I have to control this until I find the... missing bit. There it is. There it is. Found it. What does that achieve? God only knows. Oh, so I think it's symbol. No, no, it's a different symbol. Okay, so now it's opened up the. Uh... Okay, so she was six miles to the south. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. I don't know what the German for six is. Sex, probably. It's it's sex in most languages. Well, most Latin and Germanic languages. Why? I could have done it in Japanese. I could count in Japanese. I don't know why I went with German. Not relevant. Uh, six miles to the south, rapidly, we close her down, and she flared two miles east. Two to the east. Now she lies north by one. That's an interesting path you've forged here. It looks suspiciously like a key. I wonder if that'll be relevant. Probably not, to be perfectly honest, but... It would have been interesting if it was. Jesus, woman, what are you doing in there? Okay, the chest just slamming shut on me now. Right, you've had your fun. Boof. Okay, back to... Yes, well, where does a figurehead go? Figurehead? Well, I should double check I don't have to do anything with it. I apologise for looking up your skirt, madam, but it was the only way I could be sure you didn't have secrets hidden in you. Now we take it and we ram it up in there. Mm, it's almost Freudian this, isn't it? No, no. Back, back up. And in she goes. Sliding the bow of the ship right up her... Um, yes. 
Hey, I got a ship's wheel. Let's change the subject rapidly. Because I don't like the direction my just stupid sense of humor decided to take me there. Okay, up to the where the wheel go. Up to where the up to where the wheel go. Up to where the wheel goes. Ah, spin, 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 spin. Jesus. Now, if memory serves, this is a series of ports from mobile or um, touchscreen tablet devices. So I think that's why some of the uh, some of the things I need to do take a more than just indicate it once. Like you'd be putting your finger on the screen and constantly circling it round rather than having to click and drag over and over again. So I think some of the um, some of the port processors has left a little to be desired. But Okay. So little Oh I can change this. Not very easily. T turn? Oh I have to take it up. Okay, so I've got S, L, and R, L, E, and O, R, S, and A, L, E, and A. Cool. That won't be relevant until this thing tells me the message, I presumably. Rose. R, O, oh yeah, I have to go this way. Oh, there we are. S. E. Is Rose the name of the ship? Or was that just a random word for the sake of, of random? So I thought this was the Helena. Or Saint Helena. Or Helen of Troy. Right. The... Oh, yeah, I've got to put it in the end and then slide it across because reasons. Okay. What's all this nonsense then? Note, explain. Okay, so this is pirate again. I don't assume he's a pirate. Pirate. He seems to be chasing down a ship for reasons. The Saint Helena came apart on the rocks at eight hundred hours. She heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only, there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors. But only one swam clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar. A wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered, blood-stained rags. Clutched in his white-knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he blabbed was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may not have gone down with the Helena. I've had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. So just, uh, we've got a magic sculpture. Oh, so hang on, so that isn't the Helena, then? Okay, maybe this is this ship's called the Rose, and the Helena was what the Rose was chasing? I don't know. Let's press buttons and find out. I'm pressing buttons and nothing's happening. Okay, that's... Molecular Madness not helping. Can't appear to interact with much. Oh, okay, set of scales. Show me, tell me that again. Okay, whatever that message was couldn't have been important. Tell it me again. Okay, thanks, game. Well, let's take this weight. Yes, 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 back up. Jesus, webs. Takes like 12 clicks to do anything. Square weights. Come on. Square? Is it a square weight or a... Uh... Okay, so it's more of a, a rectangular weight. So rectangular weight for a rectangular gap. Oh. Yeah, so it was just a tutorial to show check you knew what you were doing before giving you more pieces of to the puzzle. I will take this thing. A small disc. Which I will then place in the small disc slot. Thusly. Turn it round, slide the thing in. Which reveals a square weight in a round slot. Sacrilege! Right, square weight, square. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in again. Square weight, square shape. Now this one comes towards us. 
revealing a slightly bigger circle. Cool. Here it goes. One, two, three, four. That just isn't a puzzle. Oh, this is a puzzle. We got arrows going almost all the way around, but then down that one. Okay, so that's going to come in important later. It says smacking himself in the headphones for some reason. So what are you? You are a nautical measure. Cool. Do you... Oh, you turn. To reveal that you're actually a triangle. Secrets within secrets. Triangle. Oh, God. Zoom in again. I forgot. Triangle on the triangle. There you go. Reveal your next secret. Oh, you didn't give me a piece. It's not hidden in the bottom of them. No, it's not hidden in the bottom. I'm guessing that's what these things here are for then. So now I need to find something to rotate. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, AS left us a note. Great, I get to read in stupid voice again. Jesus, read the bloody... It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elaborate arrangements, like the spirals of a vortex, at once both the pattern and the system. It seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? Am I the explorer? The prisoner? Ass. I'm just going to pronounce AS's ass now because it mildly amuses me because I'm a child. Wow, this game is so dark as hell down there. I hope there's nothing important to it. Aha! A draw! Secrets, right. So... I can't move the... Oh, 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 oh! It'll be like that other one where you can rotate these pieces and that changes what happens down there. So in other words, I want to do something along the lines of um, this, I think. There we are, so they're all pointing towards each other. That hopefully is now close enough on here. Yeah! Victory for the Dark Lord. Now see, that's a puzzle that would take you longer if you hadn't played the previous game. But I reiterate, if you played the pre you wouldn't like be likely to play this game without playing the one previous. Right. Now this one's trying to be a puzzle, because these two pieces need to go in in a very specific order. But it's 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 not really a puzzle. It's just a thing. That was a very, very melodramatic sound to release it with there. Okay, so now I've got to get more arrows in line, I presume. Okay. Oh no, I don't even have to do that. I just have to slide it and slide it and slide it and slide it. And... You done? You're just done. Neat. Zoom out, zoom in, place the thingy on the doodah. That now comes all, almost all the way to the centre. But I'm still missing a piece. Oh, oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, so, ooh. Ah, now this one is trying to be clever on me. So all I need to do is turn it all the way around, like that, put it in to put it out, then pop it back in again. In you go. Not a complicated puzzle, but at least it's trying. Okay, I found a weight. Funny that. Now, how do we manipulate this weight into being a shape we wished it to be? Aha! Twisty thing. Oh, I found a small weight within the small weight, have I? Good. Has this taken the shape I require it to be? I assume it has. Right, small weight. I don't zoom back out, because I've got another small weight I need to put on. Put the Put it on. There you go. That now comes all the way to to middle. 
everything buggers off. To give me an anchor and a coil. Neat. My model ship is almost complete. Metal clock spring. Well, I assume that's going to be a clock, but let's return to the Oberdin and find a place to ram an anchor up in a... Presumably here? There it is. And that's given us a compass piece? Metal star? Okay. Return to the table of many things. Okay, so that's where the metal star goes. Do I have to do anything with these, or are they going to all do themselves? Who knows? Who cares? In you go. Spinny majig. Oh, wants me to do this bit. It's very arbitrary what it wants me to do and what it wants to do itself. Okay. So we need a... Okay, so we've got a series of counterweights there. That turns whatever it wants. Nope. Monocle of Madness doesn't seem to help. Do I just keep, keep turning it? I don't think that's doing anything. These weights aren't doing anything. Can't slide that. Well, I guess I'll just keep turning this then. I don't think this is the solution to the puzzle. Okay, but I have a clock spring, and I now have a clock. So somewhere up in here, the place must go for this clock to be. Oh. There it is, apparently. Okay. Well, I can't seem to turn any of these from... Oh, I can do this. I can't do that. That doesn't do anything. None of these seem to turn. Okay. Maybe there is something somewhere else to change things? Oh. There we go. This in some way helps. Does this in some way help? Presumably this in some way helps. You? Ah, we got up in the back. So... Okay, I don't have a key. Of course it looks like a keyhole. It is a keyhole. This does not help. I don't have a key. Right, so maybe I don't do that bit just yet. That did something? Because that looks like now I can zoom in here. Okay, so those have gone, which means I can move them. Well, I didn't have to move them, they moved themselves. So that gives me a screwdriver. And here is a rather conspicuous screw, which it wants me to unwind manually. I'm stupid. Why does he discard the screwdriver? A screwdriver is a perfectly valid, useful piece of equipment. You never know when you're going to need it again. You had to use a screwdriver in the previous game, so just keep that screwdriver, or you inevitably get a screw puzzle later. Why am I smarter than my character? I'm supposed to be the character. His actions are my actions. Okay, is that done? Are we finished? Can we go home? No. Well, the spring's in place. What does it do now? No, Monocle of Man is not revealing secrets. Kind of... Maybe this has done something now. No. Okay. Something somewhere is going to move, but I can't see what or why. Either that or it wants me to do something else with this spring. Because a spring you'd wind up, you'd presumably using this, but I don't have any, I don't have any items at all.
Don't you try and help me game, I'm not an idiot. Well, I am, but shut up. So we've got another keyhole here. No, no secrets there. Hmm. And there's something else on the table? No. Something here. What's this thing? Markle of Madness doesn't appear to be revealing anything. Let's go back to the ship, see if there's anything else over here. I'm not betting money on it, because I've got no reason to look for anything else over here. Reveal thy secrets. Because these are clearly numbers, but I don't even have anywhere to put numbers yet. So that's not going to help. I'm missing two keys. And these ambient sound effects are beginning to drive me up the wall. Is that someone supposed to be talking in the background? Is that what that is? This spring hasn't done anything. Why am I, what am I supposed to do with this spring? Can't even put this lid back on. No. Hmm. I've rather hit a wall. I keep turning this. I cannot keep turning this. All right, clues. What say ye? I should look around the box for something to wind that clock spring with. What do you think I'm trying to do? Jesus. Well, first, at least I've narrowed down that it's the box. Can I take this out? Can I turn it anymore? No. Can't move that up. I think here. Can't do anything with that. Did you go tell me to look around the box again? Is that a switch on the front lip of the box? What are you talking about? This? Um. No? No, no, it's not a switch. What are you talking about? None of these are switches. Hang on. I think I have to apologise. I may have been blaming... Oh, there's your switch. I may have been blaming uh, the game for ambient sound effects that were actually taking place out my open window. So I hope those haven't uh, been picked up on the mic. Though if they have, it would explain why every now and then I keep complaining about the game talking at me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and at least I found the bits and bobs. Twisty, 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 twisty. Yeah. Can you not take it as red after I've twisted it slightly that I understand it is to be twisted? Okie dokie. Now what? Do I... I can keep doing this. However, I'm willing to bet that now this clock's moving, these pieces are going to be twisting. Ah, no, but I can do that. Two and fifty. Let's turn off the monocle of madness again. Two fifty. Button. Button. Oh, okay, I have to hold it. Button. Button. Key. Right, and there's the keyhole. In you go, spinny madoodah. 
Monocle of Madness shows... Oh, one of these things. Okay, which piece has turned? The outside's set. Now we just turn it. Turn it until we see what I assume to be either the Rose or the Helena. Which has given me another dice. Diamond shaped metal casting. And is everything going to slam shut? It's not going to. Oh, yes, it is going to slam shut. There you go, you've had your fun. Stop trying to play with the box. Put the one item you've got in the one place it's willing to go. No secrets on it. Nah. Thing. Thing. Cool. That became much larger all of a sudden. Okay. Line up the pieces. Hey, we've got another D20 that's evaporated. Okay, bundle of twigs exploded. Now we line them up somewhere here. There you go. Now I'm back through the door of weird sound effects. You know, considering this place was supposed to not contain only the one ghost. I don't seem to have actually seen anything so far. Chapter complete. You have successfully navigated the secrets of the ship, yet this grim ordeal will become increasingly challenging. Oh goody! It's gonna get harder! This is, is, is a puzzle game. You spoke well, it's a game! You're kind of supposed to ramp the difficulty up as it goes along. Right, so we will take a briefest of brief looks at what we have to do, but then I shall leave this episode here because excluding that short period where I went and yelled at something we've had basically an hour, so. That's a hole in the wall. How tantalizing for you viewers. You'll have to tune in another time and find out what the hell that's all about. Yeah, sir. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to end on. Bye.